Okay, this is a video to show you how to load 35 millimeter film onto uh, reels that go in a developer tank. This is a Patterson tank. Um, these are fairly common. So um, the first thing that you need to make sure is that you have all of the pieces of the tank. This spool that goes in the center is part of the light trap so that when you put the funnel lid in and click it, then this is light tight, super important. Um, this lid here helps prevent spills, is not perfect at that job. Um, these are a couple of reels. This is a two reel tank. Uh, this is the tricky part right here, loading this film onto the reel. I'm doing this in the light to show you how it works. This is garbage film. This is the kind of thing you have to do in complete darkness. No light, whatever, no red light, no nothing. Um, but it helps if you know what you're doing, what at least it looks like before you start. So um, I have <clears throat> here a... Um, sometimes called the church key. It's a can opener. I've got this round end here and I'm gonna use this to pry the top off the film. This is perfect because sometimes um, this doesn't wanna come off and you have to try a few times, even in the dark, wow. Perfect example. Um, when things look too easy, there we are. So um, I've done this with students a bunch. I've had them sometimes say they couldn't get it off. I go over, I pull it off right away. They just loosened it up for me. Don't give up. So then after that, so we pulled it, the, the top off of the flat end of the cartridge, and then we just push the other end up through and out. So this is now metal recycling. This is the leader of your film. To get 36 exposures onto one of these reels, you want to cut off about as much of the uh, leader as you would have had exposed in the camera. Um, I don't know, five inches, not quite six. My hands aren't very big, um, so that span is not too much. That is something you're going to want to be careful of doing in the dark. And then you can start loading the film in. It's so much easier with this flat edge here. So on these reels, there's, um, you can feel this indentation. So I have found it's super important to find both. There's smaller indentations on this side where you can't load film in. Um, it's super important when you're dealing with uh, not being able to see to feel both of these things and make sure that you're loading film into the deeper side. Um, so the way to do that is to put your fingers of your non-dominant hand here, and then you're pinching the end of the film so it's rigid and you can feel it go under. So you can just get it to start in, slide past the little ball bearings that are there then you're rotating it. If you hold this film loosely between your two fingers, you're gonna control whatever curly craziness is going on here. Hold this still, only this hand moves, and this should be pulling. This is a brand new reel, and some of them have not been perfect. Um, it should be I love it when things don't work. There we go. So um, it's now pulling the film onto the reel. And you'll notice that only this hand is moving. If I do both of them, it's really easy for my hands to rotate, for me to push the film off of, uh, out of that gate. There's a the um, ball bearings there. It's really easy in the darkness. My puppy is digging. 
which is okay because she's not on the table trying to help. So that's okay. Um, but I'm just going to keep doing this and it takes a little bit of time and I'm, I can feel that this is getting to the end. And when it gets all the way to the end, this is the spool, um, that the film was on. And then again, in the dark, I'm going to feel that she's a little crazy creature, that puppy of mine. And now the film is all the way on. So then um, if I had been smart in the dark, this would have already been in here. I always suggest that. The film goes in. If you have another roll of film, you can load that one too. This funnel cap goes in here and when it clicks, that's when it's secure and you know that the whole thing is light tight. Then you can turn on the light and get to the business of actually processing the film. Not too hard. <laughs>